What's going on, everybody? This is your boy Pablo, aka Grandma's favorite grandson, aka Pod's gift, aka the Pod Boss, aka CEO of this thing of ours. It's SMG, and you know how we do about this time. My man, my mellow. Introduce yourself, sir. It's your boy, best friend, aka Bleach Cricket. Hey yo, <laughs> that's it. It's Bleach that's Cricket. It. That's just Bleach Cricket today. No, all right, the bleach cricket. All right. Um, <laughs> no, Answer. no, that's crazy. The reason why I was running late is because I just killed the cricket in my kitchen. That's crazy. Hey. So what's going on, y'all? She girl, Lady Luck, live and direct. Okay, I ain't have all those intros that they have from Game of Thrones. I'm just here, your favorite rapper's favorite rapper, entrepreneur. No, we don't stop. No, we don't quit. The face of persistence. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Nah, um, because it's it's mad funny because like you know, so like me, my girl, and my mom, we we all got a crib together down south, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? And um we had a discussion and I was like, Well, I'm the head of the household, you know, I wear the hat and shit, you know what I'm saying? And they was like, No, you're not, no, you're not. So just now my girlfriend downstairs and she yelling, she's like, Ah, and there's a cricket from outside. The south was different. Yeah, this guy is. was big. And she's like, Go ahead, head of the household, kill it. I had to like, you know, and he know that I hate bugs. I am not yes. with whoo. I'm not with any type of insect. I'm sorry. If you just if you hit me up like, oh, it's a bug in the house, I'm like, yep. She's gonna be about, about 20 minutes. She's about to be about 20 more minutes. <laughs> my sister got a house across the street. I was contemplating calling my nephews to come over here and handle it for me, but I was like, nah. But she said that had a household thing. Mm-hmm. You had to prove a point. <laughs> yeah, I had to. Oh man, um, thank you so much for doing this for real. Um, you know, I had to because I gave you my word, yeah. And like, I, I, you've been patient with me with these crazy weeks. I've been traveling, I've been doing so much, but you've been patient with me, so I appreciate you. And um, I even forgot today, I'm swamped. I'm over oh. here. I just had a Zoom meeting with my manager. We're dropping my album, Say Songs About Yahweh. So I make songs mm-hmm. for sinners. You know what Thank I mean? You. I, I make songs for sinners. I make songs for people who love God, but they still live on earth. Um, I got Lucky Punch. We are revamping the ingredients to that. So it's like instead of doing juice, because Lucky Punch was all natural juices for the height of COVID. Mm-hmm. But now we're going into powder form, and we will have every vitamin and nutrient your body needs. So you just drop a shot in your water, shake it up, your smoothie, whatever. And you have all the vitamins, so you don't have to keep swallowing them every day. Pulse. Uh, we have these. Sunday, uh, we're coming out with these. We got these in so many different vari- various colors. And um, we're dropping these soon. Uh, we have Lucky Crowns. We just That's what I did want. A That's what I campaign. want. Yeah, we just did a campaign with uh, Slick Rick for Supreme and for Puma. So shout out Slick Rick. Uh, we're sending a bunch of crowns out to our influencers. Um, and I'm doing music placements. So uh, I'm over Thank here you. putting together these folders for um, these TV networks. So. <laughs> I still feel like I'm not doing enough. I was in here really? earlier today, like, yo, you bullshit and you bullshit. Right. I still feel like I'm, I'm the same exact way. I'm the same exact way. I got the live show coming up at the end of the month. We got a players ball coming up in November. I got our, our brunch coming up. Then I got to make sure my three shows come out on time. Then I got to make sure everybody else is good. Yeah, it's, it, it's never ending. It's never ending. Um, I'm just trying to buy a dollar. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to do from about 20 to 40 million people. <laughs> right. <laughs> and then uh best friend definitely needs uh, that lucky punch. He definitely needs the vitamins. Um I do. Yeah, because he's super in the gym, so he he be burning up the nutrients up and all that. So but um, oh bless your heart. Um so since you're a guest, well you're not you're you're his guest. I've known you forever, but since you're a guest, we gotta give you the same question that we give everybody else. It's going it's stupid, but we would like to hear the answer to it. If you, Lady Luck, Madam, wake up as a grown ass man for 24 hours, what are you doing for those 24 hours? I can't tell you I'm about to do a gospel album, then you ask me this. Yep. <laughs> Cause I'm knocking everything down real quick. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's it. 
<laughs> that's it. And they they still know it's me. Like I can still mm -hmm. be me, yep. but like, oh, I'm knocking them down. <laughs> That's the only thing that you guys have above me, you know, because I date women. It's like mm -hmm. I have a great imagination and my bedroom is wild, but I never zoom, but I never got a chance to, you know. Yeah, I mean, it's like that. Yeah, 24 hours. I just like come here right quick. <laughs> <laughs> just snatching bodies up. Come on in here for a minute. I love yeah. it. Yeah. I love it. So, uh, what's your type? I got no type. You ain't got no type. Everybody got type. I don't see the fat. Uh oh. Go ahead, nah, best man. Yo, if you look at my exes, nobody look alike. They don't even look like they like Shit, grew up in the same neighborhood. Like, I've dated. I've dated. Um. I've dated, man. <laughs> <laughs> Like even when I was single, my lineup nobody looked like each other. Like mm. it's 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 about a um, cause I I look at features obviously mm -hmm. you know so you gotta have something, but it's more of a like so what's a, a feature? So short, tall, skinny, bigger, you know? Bro, they made everything. Made everything, bro. <laughs> done, just sexy, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, mean. like I, I dated, you know, I dated people that you know might not have the 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 average you know beauty in the face you know mm -hmm. people may conceive his beauty but the bedroom was crazy you know um i told I him that i told I these nigga that girls that are boring i think you know what I mean? i've dated i think so what about the grill you look you, you look like you have a nice pearly grill there like what about the grill you care about women that yeah, I mean, I have I have things that I'm not going to fuck with, but it's not like I'm out here looking for a certain type. I don't have a type like, oh, she has to have this and that, this, that, that. Like, now nah, everybody's been different, different career choices, different body counts, you know, different, mm. <laughs> different everything. So body know, count body style. Style. And I've dated an African, I've dated a Cuban who looks Italian, you know, I've dated short, I've dated tall, my, like, I've dated... You know, like yeah, yeah. mixed up there, you know. I just like sex. so body count don't matter. Look at it, she's about to lie to us. Let's go. Go ahead and get the lie out real quick. <laughs> no, nah, I ain't lying, man. I don't lie in these things. It's experience. I don't judge okay. you for what you've done. You your experience, you know, outliers. It takes ten thousand hours to become a master at something, you know. So I love it. I've met some masters. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! So, um, T Pain's in the news. Um, he said, "If Pac was alive today, and I'm doing this as best friend loves Pac. If Pac was alive today, he would get ate up lyrically by who's out right now." I mean, that's ridiculous that? because the, the era that Pac was in, that's when people had real lyrics. You know what right. I'm saying? Like, people was nice. Um, and I think that that's silly to say. Pac wasn't a lyricist. Pac mm -hmm. was similar to Kendrick Lamar. You just mm -hmm. say really dope shit. You're poetic mm -hmm. with it, you know? Um, whereas Biggie was more along the line of the poet. I listen to Biggie. He encourages me to go out and get fresh and fuck with the bitches. I listen to Pac. He encourages me to embrace the other side of me. The, the you know, my heart makes me, you know, uh, it makes me fearless. You know what right. I mean? They, they, they gave me two different vibes. So, okay. um, and then the era that we're from, we're from the era of everybody talking crazy. So, nah. Super crazy. <laughs> yeah, he, he lost me at that. Uh, best friend, man, Wait. fuck T Pain. I feel like T Pain is stupid ass comment. Like I don't think that you know, even if Pop was alive today, I think he's looked at again, like somebody like Eminem. Like, okay, we we don't fuck with him. We just leave him over here to the side. He does his own thing, and he you know he does what he wants, says what he wants, goes where he mm -hmm. wants. That's just what Pop does. I don't know. I, I would like to see him. Say who he would compare like that to when he says he would get ate up. Like I would like to get get an example from him of give me who? an example of who you think would do that. 
Because it's definitely not him. Why does it make sense? Is Pac wouldn't even be rapping right now? Like, he I mean, wouldn't. he'd be on his legacy shit like Jay. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So I don't even think that even makes sense to say. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's okay. because somebody stuck a microphone in his in front of his face, and he needed you know five minutes. Now, now that's why. Uh, yeah, so he's trying to get some. He's trying to get some listeners. That's what he's doing. He's trying to talk some crazy stuff to where somebody would listen. Mm, okay. Um. I have a question for both of y'all. When top five is mentioned, female MCs are never, when I say never, some people put one in particular in there, but hardly ever put a female MC in the top five. Why do y'all think that is? And do y'all have a female in y'all top five? It's, it's, it's the same way with basketball. It's the same thing with everything else. You speak of the greatest, we don't get in there. Um, I, I, you know, top five to me is always like ridiculous because it's a, it's a, it's only a matter of who you've been exposed to, mm. you know. Um, and if some people have been listening to hip hop since the very first era, you might put Cool G rap and rock him up there, you know, because there's still know some people, people that do that. Yeah, like Royce the Five Nine, you know. Yeah. So. Um, I, I I just feel like there's a lot of people who've made contribution to hip hop. I mean, it's a man's world, goddammit. So like mm -hmm. how can you even ask a question like that? <laughs> like the fuck. I'm just saying. Right. Like So I think when it comes to top five, I think that it's very subjective. So yeah, this is where it brings out the the debating piece because I say my top five and then you'll say well, what about this person? What, well, that's not my top five. So if they were my top five, I would have said them. You wouldn't have to say, well, what about this person? What about that person? Then when you talk top five or goats or whatever you want to talk about with people, you say, okay, well, are we talking about this generation top five or that generation? Because people have top fives for different generations. You know, the basketball in the 80s is different than the basketball now. Like, so when you talk top five, things like that, like, it's totally different. So, it's almost one of those conversations you don't want to have because then everybody starts trying to, what about this person? What if you had that person? No, that's not what you asked. You asked me my shit, so let me have my stuff. Yeah. Agreed. I like it. I like it. Um, well, it's been on record that best friend, he's cheated before. Um, <laughs> what record is that? Uh, episode like three. <laughs> Um, been on record that I may have dabbled in the cheating world. Um, my friend Luck may have dabbled here and there. Um, what do you mean? She's a woman of the cheating. She don't cheat. Cheating, cheating how? Cheating, cheating on, at on what? Your, a diet? Stepping, stepping, stepping outside. Like stepping outside of your relationship while you're still in said relationship. Yeah, no, she said, really. don't fuck that. Don't put no, me out not there. Really. I mean, like, at the end of one relationship, when it was dead on both our ends, we both had somebody at the same time, so I don't consider that cheating. Okay. Um, then in one of my relationships, so I was allowed to have a girlfriend live with us for six months, so that wasn't cheating. I'm Because um, <laughs> she, she viewed it differently. Uh, she viewed cheating differently. Um, mm. No, nah, I'm not really, you know... I, I was for the streets for two years, you know, after my last relationship. I got into a, a relationship by accident, and I'm happy about it. Yeah, I'm super happy. Because I was really, really holding on to the streets. Yeah. But I was like, I don't want to lose her, so I got to let the bitches go. <laughs> now you're over there killing crickets for her. Huh? <laughs> killing crickets for her now. that got to be some serious shit right there. Nah, it's more easy. Yeah, it was yeah. big. It looked like a cockroach, but I know it wasn't because it was hopping around. The South crazy. It Yo. rained so crazy earlier today. I go outside. We go into the store, and I see, like, baby toads. Yeah. They, like, jumping. She kicked one out the house, a baby frog. I don't know what it was, but it was crazy. I'm like, I'm not used to this. I'm from Jersey. Mm -mm. Right. Yeah, we had those in Maryland. Uh, <laughs> we had those in Maryland. It was so, crazy. All right, since luck never cheated, uh, do you do y'all subscribe to the 
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do y'all subscribe to the uh the notion once a cheater, always a cheater? Nah. Nah. Nah, like if somebody was out and they wasn't ready to grow up and then now they are, you know what I mean? I don't think somebody wants or something, always or something, you know, like okay. Because I know I've changed. So right. I give some people the benefit of the doubt. Does it apply to everybody? No. But is it possible? Yes. Mm. And I know I've changed. So, yeah, I definitely don't subscribe to it. Um, but people still do. People still want to see the old you. And the old you uh, ain't there no more. But they don't want to realize that. So, yeah, I definitely get that. Go ahead, best friend. You're toxic ass. Let's get this out of the way. So what I think is, I think it's like being a, a drug addict. I think that urge is always there once you do it and once you get away with it and once you're, you know, however many times you do it, whatever the case might be, I think once shit hits the fan, it's like that, it, you know, that addiction. It's like, you know, you know you can go out there and be like, you know, why do I put up with this? I can go do this. I can get away with this. So that, that thought is always there. So you have to be able to control that addiction or that sickness um, but I think that urge is always there, no matter what, whether you do it or not. That's the, the self con- the control part or the willpower part. But I think that urge is there. But what it, I mean, it all depends on what you're cheating for. You mm. get what I'm saying? Because like some people might be cheating because they like the other person, or some people might cheat because they're addicted to sex. Like you know, it all it all depends on what's going right. on with you. Um. I know for me, when I did it, it was I was just fed up, and I was looking for uh, that emotion that I wasn't getting at home. Um, but I was also not ready to let her go at home. So emotional cheating. Yeah. So it was yeah. it was a constant back and forth battle with me. So, but Man, she ended up leaving. Just, they just like met somebody and said, "Oh, I fucks with you. You sexy." <laughs> and then they have sex, you know. Right. <laughs> yeah best friend that's how you do it yeah just hey what's up you know <laughs> let's do it yeah I like you so look um, I don't know how to ask you this but mm-hmm. I want to hear your opinion on it though you just say it flat out you, yeah. you just say the words pronouns you know I know it's like a 50-50 you know what I mean situation some people don't understand them other people they don't care you know what i mean like how do you feel about pronouns being that you over in the alphabet game i'm a human being i don't really subscribe to being part of shit like you know i'm i'm not i'm I'm not dissing nobody but i'm not lgbtq plus you know i'm not i'm not none of that stuff um zoom Uh, zoom zoom Huh? Zoom! I'm on Zoom. Oh, on Zoom. I'm on Zoom. Okay, calm down, baby. Just say, "Mommy, I'm on Zoom." That's it. Now, why I got to say that to people? Close the door, mommy. Close the door, please. What'd you say, something? Mommy, close the door, please. <laughs> and then that's what happens when you know you get a house with your mom and your girl. Well, shout out to my mom. She was on TV last night. That is uh, Donna Jones. She uh, is the first uh, hip hop promoter. So okay. she was in Secret Origin, no Origins of Hip Hop last night on A and E. Nice. Oh, shout out to my moms. There you go. Hey, where were we? <laughs> Pronouns. You don't subscribe. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I'm not with all that, man. You know, uh, I don't subscribe to gangs and that. I'm a human being. I'm a female that likes women. You know, men are cool. I prefer the company of a woman, and um, that's it. I don't like I don't like checking boxes. Right. Just because some, you know, some guy, some scientist <laughs> back in the 1600s decided to start, you know, making people become things. Like I'm not a lesbian. I'm not okay. from the island of Lesbos. I'm not from Greece. So why am I a lesbian? You know what I'm saying? Like I'm not I am gay. I'm happy, you know. But I, I think like it, it being over there is so confusing. Like, you know, when people are straight, it's just a man and a woman. You know, uh, maybe if everybody, you know, it's just similar to if straight people started to say their fantasies and their fetishes. Mm-hmm. That's how many different 
variations of gay people there are because it's like it's like the, the feminine aggressive the aggressive feminine the lipstick this the this that the ag the stud this right, it's right. too much <laughs> i began wild confused yeah me too Definitely. i think they i think people just do too much like uh like saying it's one of those things where it's just like why why do we have to put things like that on everything? Like, let's just let people be happy. Let people live their lives without si trying to put a pronoun or a title or an alphabet or whatever the case might be. Just like, stop doing it. It's just because it's 2022 don't mean you have to do all that bullshit. And sometimes but, I didn't have people get upset with me that I didn't say the right pronoun, the correct pronoun. Right. Okay. Um. That's that's probably the best reply I heard to that question. To be honest with you, I'm not even old you. Um, well, again, just be talking human. From just just be like, just be a human being, right? Like, why do you have to have all of these different? No, things? like even when you broke it down to like straight people to the same their fetishes, like that's literally exactly what it is on, on the other yeah, side. Yeah, like. Like the the dominant, so imagine like you guys start marching for like the dominatrix, the 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 you know what I'm saying, the, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. the uh, role players, the the, the missionaries, foot fetishes. yeah, the threesomes. We're all going to march, and everybody, you know, and then, it's a lot. Then you have the foot fetish people, yeah, fighting against the 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 anal fetish people, whatever you know, and the hand fetish yeah. people be like, yo, what about us? What about us? We all the same, right? That's hilarious. Okay. Um, <laughs> Ray J. Uh, he says next year. So I guess January. He's changing his name to Tron. T-R-O-N. Um, he says time for a change. And that's the change he came up with. He's been Ray J forever. If he want to be Tron, it's his prerogative. Just right. like they want to be called he, she, them, they. <laughs> Whatever you like, but he, but it's, it gets to the point, right, where he has been Ray J forever. Son is like he should be like almost forty now. Like he's he's been Ray J. Like how you gonna change at forty that like, you're not Ray J? Oh, Diddy, Prince, Diddy, but we still love. call Diddy Diddy though. Like even though he yeah, called himself love, call him some people call him Puff Daddy. You know, right? If Ray J want to be called Tron, and so be it. Right, that's just like you coming to me like, yo, Jester, I'm I'm not laid luck no more. She got. You know what I mean? She got, but yeah. I'm you said you. that so much, it's, it's embedded in my head. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Like, let the man live. Let the man live. He getting a lot of money. He ain't the same Ray J. We all ain't the same yeah. people. People be evolving. Mm. Is he getting a lot of money? Yeah. See, Hell yeah. Ray J's cake. What? Thank you. He don't with the, with the scooter bike thing, and Ray J's involved with a lot of technology that's moving. Ray J, Ray yeah. J, pick was stupid, and he had started up with the Zeus company, mm -hmm. uh, the Bingo, the Bigo app. Nah, Ray J, Ray J, yeah. Kate is on a different. So he, he's an entrepreneur. Money, he ain't like yeah, yeah no, nah, yeah. I mean, but that's what everybody is. Don't ever get it misconstrued. There's only mm -hmm. like three, four people in the entire music industry who've ever gotten became billionaires off of just music alone. I think it's like you two and like mm -hmm. some other people. But other than that, like nah, Jay Z and them is billions from entrepreneurship. Beyonce, you name them. Everybody who got the bag bad is from using their platform to catapult. See. Told you, best friend. I guess for me, it's just like you know, you hear about the you hear about the Jay Z's out there and the Beyonces and all the people dabbling and you know the Diddies, but you don't hear what Ray dabbles in. So it makes you always wonder, like, nah, you're not paying attention. I just yeah. made a bunch of stuff. I'm saying, I know yeah, you he involved it, in. For me, he had yeah. Raycon. Like he had, oh, yeah. uh, he's it involved in lot. So you got to have your ear to the streets. Is it yeah. going to be on CNN? No, mm -hmm. but I'm in, I, every morning. I'm on every hip hop website. I follow mm -hmm. the blog sites, you know what I mean? Like, and I get my information on what's going through hip hop and entertainment in general across the board. So, because I'm a part of the culture. So, whether I'm, you know, two feet in or I'm taking a step back, you know, back there, 
Mm -hmm. I'm always focused. And I know Ray J Paper Stupid, like Chameleon Man. Nobody heard from Chameleon yep. in a long time. That boy Paper Stupid. Uh, Mims, this is why I'm hot. Paper Stupid. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Like, yep. I'm... I'll I be, try be trying to tell them because I'm I'm in them same blogs looking at everything because I, I can't make my page funny without knowing what's going on. So I'll be seeing everything. I'll be telling him. He'll be like, nah, they ain't got no money. I'm in the white blogs talking about pronouns. <laughs> hey, you're in the wrong area. You got to come over here and yep. see where the money at. <laughs> People out here getting bags. Nas is like. Nas paper is crazy. Mm -hmm. Nas got so many investments everywhere from Coinbase to um to the ring camera to all of his uh then he got uh all his juice spots. Um Nas is, Nas has um um what is that mass appeal and they have yeah. crazy television shows across all networks like he, he has a ring, he has a ring camera on his door. He's paying Nas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, yeah. best friend, go ahead. It's your turn. So, yep, what we so got what, four minutes. Yep. All right, cool. You so, got it. So, we do a thing, it's called What's in My Sack, and I get questions from people who you know send me things asking. So, it, it, it varies, it ranges. So, this week, so we had a question by a girl last week. I don't even think that her and her boyfriend know that they both subscribe and, you know, ask questions. His question is, he wants to know, I guess he wants to ask the question to her as far as proposing, what's the, what's a legit timeline from the time you start dating to the time you know she's the one to the time you propose? Like, is there a legit time that he should be waiting? No, love is love. You know, um, me and my girlfriend, we went out on a date and we never left each other. <laughs> um, you know, um, the chemistry be there. I don't know. I mean, sometimes you got to take time to know a person, but it's like, like my mama tell you, she just got divorced after 30 years. She didn't know him. You know what I'm saying? So it's like <clears throat> some people get married in 30 days. So some people, you just never know a person, but I, I ain't the one to tell somebody to take their time. You know, I, as time grow, like me and my shorty, we've been together seven, eight months. Like we still learning each other. We still we growing together. You know what I mean? Um, I, I don't know. I don't know. I know that I'm I'm marry her punk ass because I'm like, that's <laughs> it. I ain't going back outside. I, you know, I got all these bags I'm working on. Mm -hmm. I plan on having extreme financial uh, freedom. And uh, you need somebody you could trust. Uh, you guys out here crazy. <clears throat> so with me, um, it's no immediate timeline, but you can't take forever. Like I'm not going to be your boyfriend for 20 years. That's just <laughs> that's, that ain't the shit we doing. So, uh, <clears throat> so like you know, I, I love you. We we going to bring that shit in like two, three. Five if, if 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 it's all right, but yeah, that whole we together forever and common law shit, nah, that ain't, that ain't happening with me. But everybody view it differently, you know. They so do. Everybody they got definitely do. So, but uh, look, yo, um, one last question. Yeah, get you out of here. We yeah. ask this also. This is a going out question. All right, lady, look, what is your toxic trait? Um, I don't know. I'm perfect. <laughs> Yo, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> that what you going with? Um, I, 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 I don't know. I might gaslight a little bit. Um, okay. I don't know. I don't know because like I, I like I don't like to argue, you know. Um I don't I don't know. I, I guess there's something else we'd have to ask, you know. Let me ask my girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I also have a question from one of the listeners. They said, Can you please bring back the uh the reality show? <laughs> We're working on so much stuff. I'm taught to just keep me in prayer, friends out there. Indeed. You want to see more from luck? Hello. 
Hi, baby. Hey, these people ask me, what's my toxic trait? Do I have a toxic trait, baby? Yeah. <laughs> what would that be? Um, you want attention and you don't want attention at the same time. Mm. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. I love you. You're never wrong. Oh, and I'm never wrong, but you know, I'm, I'm, I am never wrong, though. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay, bye. There we go. Yep. All love right. me, but don't love me. Right? Yeah, love me, but leave me alone. I love it. All right, thank you so much, Luck, for doing this, man. I appreciate you so much, man. Tell the people all the one million things you're doing and uh, what's coming up next for you. Most important thing that I have going on right now is free ministry every Saturday morning. At 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, we have an amazing prayer line that is uh, really just helping people and changing people's lives and perspectives. That's 10 a.m. Uh, the link is in my bio. Uh, Lucky Punch, Lucky Crowns, Lucky Sounds, uh, The Glasses Sunday. Um, again, shout out to my mom. Donna Jones was on A&E last night um, working on the album Say. Shout out to the greatest entertainment. I mean, God is good. So most importantly, um, I just give all praise to the most high. And um, thank y'all for having me. Oh, thank you for doing this. Thank you for doing we this. We appreciate it. Oh, man. And I need a crown. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's be crowns. All right, well, I'll give you a discount, man, because I got I designers you. who make those. So I appreciate you. That. You ain't got to say, hey, that's all I need. I appreciate you. All right. Um, all right. All right, she gone. Yep. Well, that was our guest, uh, the, the incomparable Lady Luck. Uh, <laughs> she answered some questions. She didn't answer some questions, but hey, it is what it is. Best friend, but you got to say to people. Um, don't be killing bleach crickets in, in your kitchen. <laughs> I'm, sure it's, I'm sure it's frowned upon in the South. I'm I'm pretty sure. <laughs> oh man, and uh, yeah, man. Um, if you don't know your toxic trait, just ask your girl. She knows. <laughs> so, man. Uh, until next time, in the videos we trust, we are out. Be safe. Stay toxic. <laughs>